Trends. Hey, well, this is Francisco uh, from Wondershare Mobile Trends, and I'm sitting pretty cool in the city of New York with much excitement. And trust me, I've actually got an awesome environment around here thanks to my oil diffuser, which, uh, which always makes my home and studio feel more wholesome. But anyway, in tonight's video, I'm going to be talking about iOS 14.4, so let's go ahead and dive right in. So has it ever annoyed you that Apple keeps speeding up their update calendar nonstop or you're just curious about the most significant and differences in the newly launched iOS 14.4? Well, you've actually found yourself in the right spot as you've actually landed on, well, this channel. And I'm going to tell you pretty much everything that we know so far about iOS 14.4 and this video will even be interesting to you if you're just browsing around all bored. So do make sure to stick around until the end of this video. I'm going to show you what the latest version of iOS 14.4 brought to the table regarding innovation and just what's new to make sure that I can keep you guys up to date. iOS 14.4 is a landmark of release that brings a hybrid of new features with hidden improvements to your device. I mean, it is an update and you should try it out to keep your phone up to date nonetheless. And then claiming a typical full point release and transition from 14.3 to 14.4 versions of iOS. This has significant new UI features or changes while minor releases from let's say 14.3 to 14.3.1 were mostly really just for bug fixes and security updates and things of the like. Now this time, even though Apple went up a full point release number, the update appears to consist mostly of bug fixes and security updates and with only the smallest of feature changes for users. Apple pushed iOS 14.4 as a beta testing for developers and users enrolled in the company's public beta software program. The program, of course, is free to users with a compatible device and an Apple ID. In case your phone is struggling to run on iOS 14.3, iOS 14.2.1, down to iOS 13, etc., which is mostly unavoidable, you would probably want to upgrade to iOS 14.4 anyway. Trust me, it's super easy and the best thing that you can do for your iPhone if you don't have too much going on under and you just use it as a regular phone per se, not too much for business or anything like that. And I'm going to explain a little bit later why. Okay, now let's just make sure to jump right into more intriguing things before Tim tells us what else he's cooking up behind the scenes. I'm going to pat myself on the back for that pun. An obvious release of iOS 14.4 was made on the cool morning of Thursday, January 26. It was to no surprise that Apple announces the beta testing process of iOS 14.4, even with several attack rumors flying around. There were sensitive highlights of significantly advanced features like ProRaw, Photos, and Fitness Plus 14.3. But I guess Apple never really gets tired as they had an immediate beta testing event to tackle mostly security issues and fix few bugs, of course. I'll dive into more details shortly in this video as well. So there's a lot to look forward to here. And before we jump right in onto the characteristics of the features of iOS 14.4, let me quickly show you how to update your iPhone to get these features just for just through four simple taps. Now caution, you want to ensure these two important things are in place before you do get started with updating iOS. Number one, you want to back up your device to iCloud if you can. And you can also choose local device backup to have access to vital information now and later on after the update has been completed. Number two, your device should be connected to your Wi-Fi as well, as this is going to ensure the most consistent and fastest connection to your device so that the update can be done as quickly as possible. Now that you've definitely done these, let's get into the actual steps. So number one, you want to tap the home button and then click on the settings icon. And then from here, just tap on general, tap on software update, then tap on download and install. It should install as fast as your internet speed, as I mentioned just a little bit earlier. And then when it's done, you should have iOS 14.4 installed. Otherwise, you might want to tap on automatic update and then turn off download iOS update go back and then check again and voila. Now you're set out to begin from here. Now don't worry about it taking up too much storage. Five gigs in this case is really more than enough. If you're the type of person that lets their iPhone clock up in terms of storage, though, you know, like when it comes to pictures, phone calls, messages, videos, and things like that, then you might still want to free up a little bit of space because five gigs can still mean a lot, especially if you're using the base model of any given device. Like here I'm using the base model of an iPhone 12, for instance. And if you have an iPhone 6S up to the all-time sleekest iPhone 12 Pro Max, iOS 14.4 is for you. 
you want to install the new version of iOS and protect your device from hackers. There should be a list here right on the side to show you which devices exactly are supported by this version of iOS. And now glossing over the full release notes for iOS 14.4, you'll, you'll discover these features. There is this Bluetooth device classification option and settings for accurate identification of headphones for audio notifications, notifications for when the camera on your iPhone is enabled to be verified as a new genuine Apple camera in iPhone 12, iPhone 12 mini, iPhone 12 Pro, and iPhone 12 Pro Max, which has been a topic of contention actually regarding repairs and things of the like, but you do want to make sure that you have a genuine Apple part because the software is going to know this. And now, have you ever imagined a petite QR code recognized by your camera without necessarily being big on your screen? Apple actually made it happen with, with this latest software update. Now, generally, I wouldn't really advise anyone to still have a beta version on their device. It is always an awesome experience to be one of the first people to see how the new iOS version works and unlock numerous features just before it is launched to the general public. You do not only run the risk of ditching your device, of course, but if you are the type that owns just one device and runs numerous home and work related tasks on it, on a daily basis, then you might want to hold off on that decision because having a beta version on your phone means that these are usually not very stable versions of iOS and that can actually cause a lot of issues on your day-to-day -day basis. When it comes to beta versions, you're really using a test subject. So I would not recommend that you go for it as your main version of iOS only if you want to check it out, but you should probably have a way to be able to go back to any previous versions of iOS to save yourself any hassle if you do come across any issues. Now, when it comes to bug fixes, Apple has updated iOS 14.4 with featured fixes that took care of three vulnerabilities up for potential attacks by super hackers, per se. Now, Apple stated that the details of this vulnerability of the attack are scarce and that the Apple spokesperson to speak beyond what's available on the advisory is to come soon. Now, Apple said WebKit, the power engine of the Safari browser, for instance, and Kernel, which is the core of the OS, found that there were two attacks from WebKit in particular, and the other one was from Kernel. It is not new that hackers try to attack a, a device's website in order to try and creep into any kind of underlying areas or anything like that, just any kind of data breaches that they could manage to get into. Now, the iPhone 12 Pro had a bug issue fixed where image artifacting may not appear in HDR when it comes to taking pictures or anything like that. Artifacting is something that you don't want. They got rid of that. And the fitness widget may not display updated activity data. That's been taken care of too. And the keyboard may not activate in the correct language and messages. That's been fixed. Typing may be delayed and word suggestions may not appear on your keyboard. That's also been fixed. Audio stories from news and displaying things. CarPlay may not resume after being paused. For Siri or voice directions, that's also been fixed too. So navigation should be a lot easier to handle, I would say. Lock screen issues for enabling switch control and accessibility may prevent phone calls from actually being answered or going through. That's also been patched out and taken care of. Now, the spontaneously evolving sequence of Apple's product release is like no other really. But firstly, advancements in tech and the need to stay ahead of trends in the cyberspace to keep a smooth and running product. The super interesting achievement on this note were the iOS security issues that have earlier smashed threats on users, to which Apple wasn't able to disclose if such threats were to a selected group of users or the entire Apple ecosystem per se. Bug fixes and little underlying differences most likely would give folks over over at apple a much better dimension to solving future issues that would surely arise but wait before you leave there's something that i would like you to know more about and it's just that there is a much more direct way of transferring your data from your phone to your computer in some very simple steps it's going to be super easy you don't have to always lose your files to the not enough memory space slash storage full error the amazing mobile trans desktop app offers a valuable it's free and self-enabled surfing platform to do exactly that. And you can easily transfer all of your data through mobile trans and just limited clicks, like a sip of coffee in the middle of your meeting, for instance. Surprisingly, among many, mobile trans will never override your backup files. And if you wanna know more, then just make sure to click on the link somewhere in the description, most likely, and then keep it around for when you end up needing it, as it is a very useful tool for being able to keep good track of your phone and just backing your data up it's going to be something that it, that is surely going to be very useful. 
Now, surprisingly, you can do more with mobile trance as well, but you want to click the link below and then check the other valuables rendered by the same app. Just get it and install it as it will offer a lot of fantastic user experiences coming for you moving forward, especially if you're an iPhone user. And that's it. If you want to see more of our super informative videos, make sure to hit the subscribe button, like, share, and turn on your notification bell. You don't want to miss our next content in line. And I know that you probably have a bunch of questions about iOS 14.4, or there is just this one aspect that you are super curious about or that you want us to touch on a little bit more. Comment down below in the comment section and let us know what you think and what you have any questions about. So until next time, enjoy.